First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ra Kahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Akwaf. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. And uh, this is going to be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And uh, Yahweh Rathazah, this lesson will be edifying. And I actually was inspired to do this lesson based off what this guy said. You see that? And I'm going to play the lesson right in a few seconds. But um, I want to say this here first, man. Right? We should all know the story of Jacob and Esau. You see that? And I must say this here, man. Right? Before any of us were even born. Right? Before the world was formed. Right? Before anything that you think of was made. Right? The Lord already knew from the very beginning. Right? Who he was going to choose to be the chosen. You see that? And also who he was going to choose to be the wicked. You see? The Lord already knew in his mind right on who he was going to choose and who he was going to you know uh, uh 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 pretty much choose to be the wicked man you see so let's get that first you know let's get that out of the way and secondly i want to say this salvation is not for everyone you see and people that say that don't read the scriptures they're not reading the bible at all you see that now i want to go ahead and bring this video out I'm going to touch a few more points, or we'll touch a few points, and after that, that's going to end the lesson, man. You see that? And like I said, Yahweh Rathazah, this lesson will be edifying. And let me say this first, <laughs> before I play this. This guy right here, he appears to be an Edomite, or a white man, right? You know? But <clears throat> you have to remember this. The Lord said that my heritage, my heritage is like a speckled bird. You see? So, you black-only Israelites, <coughs> right? The Spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with you. You see that? So let's go ahead and play this video here, right? Holy Bible, salvation was only for the nation of Israel. In Matthew 15 and 24, the Lord said, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Did you hear what he said? He said, salvation is only for Israel. You see? And he's and he's absolutely correct. You see that? Let's go ahead and grab the scripture real quick. <coughs> and like I said, Yahweh Rathazah... Right, this lesson will be edifying to someone. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24, and it reads, But he answered and said, This is Yahweh Shah speaking, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus. Right, this is red letter. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of who? Israel. You see, so this guy here, he's right. See that? The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. You see? Let's keep going here. 15 to 24, the Lord said, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. If that wasn't enough proof, Romans 9 and 13 says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Now, nah, let's go ahead and grab that real quick. And he's absolutely right. See? He's absolutely right. Right? You wacky tacky Christians, right? You need to open up your books and read. You see that? Let's go ahead and grab this. Because like I say, you know, before... Before the boys, before the boys, Jacob and Esau were even born, and before the world stood, right, the Lord had already chosen, had already knew that Jacob, right, was going to be, right, the beginning of the world to follow, which is the kingdom, and Esau, right, would rule this world. You see that? And now we are what? We are, we are at the end of his age, end of his world. You see? And this is why you see what? Uh, you know, the Israelites... Standing back up on their feet, man. Proclaiming the word. Right? You got to be a dummy to not see, right, that people are waking up, man. You see that? Starting with our head of the pastor hard, the men on down, right, of Great Millstone, and the brothers that teach the true same doctrine. Right? The brothers, we out here, man. Anyway, this is the book of Romans, chapter 9. And I'm going to read, uh, I start at verse 9. For this is the, is the word of promise 
at this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither have done any, done any good or evil. You see that? Talk about who? Jacob and Esau. See that? That the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand. Not of works, right? But of him that calleth. You see that? So, right? The Lord had already, you know, had already predestined in his mind who he was going to choose. You see that? Now, now let's find out who he was going to choose. Verse 12, as it was said unto her, the elder should serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You see that? What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. You see? So, you know, you wacky-tacky Christians out there, right? You know, and this is a cut for all you so-called blacks, right? And you guys are probably chocolate-covered Edomites. Right, for all you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, right, that just can't, you know, uh, 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 you know, grasp the 100% truth. You see? Let's keep going here, right? By hated, Jacob is the Israelites, and Esau represents the Edomites, the nation in whom the Lord has indignation against forever. And That's right. And I did a lesson just yesterday. I did a lesson just yesterday going into the word indignation. You see that? Abhor, right? And when you go into the word abhor, right? It means what? Hate. You see? So the Lord does have hate, right? So all you individuals out there that say the Lord doesn't have hate and the Lord is, you know, the, the Lord isn't racist, right? The spirit, right? It's not dwelling there with you. <coughs> you see? Let's keep going. That Israel was going to inherit the kingdom. And the prophecies all state that the Edomites were all going to be destroyed. So if all the Edomites are going to be destroyed, then how can all nations be saved? That's right. And that's a good question. You see, if all the if, if all the Edomites are going to be destroyed, right, how is everybody going to get saved? You see, scriptures talk about someone going into slavery. You see that? So if everyone is going to be saved, who the hell is going to be servants and handmaids? You see, in the kingdom. Right? Because every kingdom, right, has what? Slaves. You see? So in the kingdom to come, somebody's going to be a slave. And who is that going to be? You see? And if you're sitting there scratching your head, talking about some that's not right, then again, I'm going to say it again, the spirit of the Lord isn't what? Dealing with you. You see? So let's keep going here. Don't make any sense. That's what we call nonsense. Right. Obadiah 18, in the house of Jacob shall be a fire, in the house of Joseph a flame, in the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Boom. So the Bible clearly says there shall be none remaining of the house of Esau. That means they can't be saved. That's right. They can't be saved. You see that? They cannot be saved. You wacky tacky bug outs out there, you know, talking about everybody can be saved. And even you guys that know that you Israelites teaching that Esau can be saved, right? Again, I must say it, right? The spirit ain't supping with you, man. You see that? The Lord has always has a always had a chosen. You see? Let's go ahead and bring this out, man. <coughs> this is the book of uh uh, St. John chapter 3 verse 16 Right we should all be familiar with this For God so loved the world That he gave his only begotten son See that that whosoever believe on him Should not perish but have everlasting life You see that and I want to bring this out Right because if you're spiritual You know when you read the word world There you're talking about the world of who The world of the Israelites You see that just like how you got the sports world Football world Where the scriptures right the Lord is dealing with what Worlds Right, and the only world that the Lord is dealing with, right, is the Israelites. You see, so God so loved the world, right, talking about the Israelites, that He gave His only begotten Son. His name is Yahweh Shai. That whosoever, talking about the Israelites, right, believeth on Him should not perish, right, but have everlasting life. You see, that's that's how you break that down. You see, and when you go into this word world, all you gotta do is look it up yourself, right. The word is it's a uh, cosmos. You see that meaning app harmonious arrangement of people a government you see that and who's the lord dealing with that's right the israelites you see so you know i mean 
Ain't nothing hard about this. I'm just grabbing a few scriptures. I'm going to end this lesson. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and I'm starting at verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Do you see that? Listen to this. With the everlasting salvation. You see that? Listen to this. Ye shall be not be ashamed nor confounded. World. You see that? Without end. You see? So, you know, so again, going back to what I said earlier, right? The Lord is dealing with the world of who? The Israelites. You see? <laughs> you know, the Bible is very, very specific. You see that? And like I say, right? Let's, let's go ahead and read this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever, right? Talking about the Israelites. Yeah, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You see that? So somebody will read this and be like, look, this says whosoever. Let's, keep, let's read the next verse. Ye men of who? Israel. You see that? Hear ye these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved by the Most High among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High did, did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. You see that? So we all know that Yahweh Shai, right, did miracles. You see that? So salvation is for who? The Israelites, according to this book here. You know, so that's pretty much it, man. You know. I'm pretty much going to end this lesson right here, right? And I am going to do a lesson, right, on 2 Ezra, the 6th chapter, right? Because this is a very good book, right? Like I say, before the beginning of time, the Lord had already selected, right, a people that he would love, which is who? The Israelites, you see? So, you know, this guy here, he's absolutely correct, right? Look, according to the whole... Bible salvation was only for the nation of Israel and Matthew that's right so sa salvation is only for the Israelites you see that you so-called blacks Latinos Native Americans now I'm gonna say this how the hell it's funny how we tell these so-called blacks Latinos Native Americans that salvation is for them but then they get upset with us you see that why the hell are you worried about salvation for someone else you see that the people that you're worried about trying to get salvation for raped, robbed, and murdered your, your ancestors, man. You see? So you should be glad. This is a miracle to know that salvation is for you so-called blacks, Latin Native Americans, man. This is a miracle. And if you're still in that bugged out slave mentality, you know, then, you know, you, you're, you're so yesterday. You see that? If you're still thinking that salvation is for everyone, you're so yesterday. See? So I'm pretty much going to end this lesson right here, Israel. Till next time I say, Shalom.